two camps in the crypto space. People who believe Bitcoin is the only safe cryptocurrency and the other group that believes in Bitcoin, but also alternative coins like Doge and Ethereum. But no matter what side of the coin you are on, this self-proclaimed Bitcoin maximalist husband and wife duo called the crypto couple, and no, not the bad couple, create vignettes to teach you the Bitcoin basics with a heavy dose of comedy. Instead of overpriced flowers, make her learn for hours because nothing says I love you quite like abstract a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution if you follow cryptocurrency news or its community on twitter it's almost impossible to miss them Money printer shows no signs of stopping So I bought Bitcoin instead of going shopping Black Friday, am I right? Oh, while the debt continues to grow Go back debtor Where money flows, no one knows, so it goes So it goes And that is really the point Carla Nasui and her husband, Walker Van Dixhorn are known on social media as the crypto couple Bitcoin is used for a lot of illicit finance and um, that's what the U.S. dollar is for. Their very first skit. This video poking fun at the types of Bitcoin haters went viral. Why do you need privacy if you have nothing to hide? The immediate success was quite a shock, too, considering the idea to do these Bitcoin-centric videos was spontaneously born while spitballing ideas on what to do next after a failed business venture. When the pandemic first hit, we wanted to create an app that showed how busy bars were, which we called Busy. We developed that application and, you know, we were ready to go to manufacturing. We had a pilot city with bars in Milwaukee ready to go. And the chip shortage happened. The pair even tried to build an online audience with videos focused on the bar scene and nightlife. It totally bombed, but it rekindled my interest in video production, which is something like I always did on the side for fun. But I was like, you know what? I forgot. I actually like doing video. Pop quiz. One. What is fiat money? Two. What is the current U.S. national debt? Three. Name three characteristics of money. Carla and Walker parlayed that passion for creating videos into a non-traditional, funny way to teach people about Bitcoin. If you couldn't answer one or more of these questions, no judgment, but maybe hold off judgment on Bitcoin too. They say the skits also act as Trojan horses of information. The gold is worth the massive human and ecological toll because you can touch it. About serious issues like our monetary system, the gold standard, and inflation. Because who wants the future of money when you can own a piece of the past? gold because you're old that is how we show like listen this is what we believe in you can go back and you can look at whatever we've created and it speaks for itself Fair taxation raise the debt ceiling right now just inflation nothing to worry about and we don't make money off of this we literally do it all for free yeah. oh the world outside seems frightful yikes from covid variants to inflation cycles Transitory. institutional trust is way down low i wonder why where did go Go. Satoshi Nakamoto deserves maybe the Nobel Peace Prize in economics and some other prize in computer science. Like it's, you know, he didn't create something new. He put together things that previously existed in a novel way that has completely changed the paradigm for how we look at money. What are sats? I thought you said to buy Bitcoin. Sats, aka Satoshis, are Bitcoin. Think of it like cents to the dollar, but instead of 100, there's 100 million. So I can buy 2,000 sats for around a buck? Seems like a bargain. Now you're getting it. I always felt that if you present some sort of vulnerability about yourself, that people will endear themselves to you. And I just want to know if that's been your experience too. Doctor, I have a big problem. Whoa, looks like someone's got a case of IRL laser-itis. Yes, like being disarming is also something that we're very much going for. We'll get you fixed up. Thanks, Doc. I'll try anything. Great. All you have to do is give us all your Bitcoin. Wait, what? Yep, just write down your private keys. You spend 50 hours a week for 50 years, giving up your finite resource of time and paying off debts that never stop growing. 
You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. Well, exactly. It's like we have the opportunity to use satire, to use comedy, to tell the truth. The couple also realize they have to make an immediate impact on anyone who stumbles across their videos. Your cash in the bank may seem quite fundamental, but Bitcoin is freedom's best friend. If it's anything we've learned, it's like it's hard to get people's attention to watch a video that's over 30 seconds if you don't grab their attention in the first five. And you're telling me you're going to get someone to read, like, a book? Hey. Oh. I'm not alone. Yeah. Or, like, an article? Gasp? You know, Whoa. it's like, I hate to say it, but that's the reality. Storage goes cold and politicians grow old And all fiat goes to zero in the end When journeys drop, they fate these blocks don't lose The couple know they already have the attention of the crypto community, but now they are ready to reach out to newbies and hit the road. They will start by attending a conference based on the Netflix show Bridgerton in Chicago this spring to spread Bitcoin knowledge. For The Verse Network, I'm Elsa Ramon.